The 1978 television drama Dallas aired on CBS from April 2, 1978 to May 3, 1991. The storyline centered around a prosperous Texan family, the Ewings, who owned the independent oil enterprise named Ewing Oil. The series is renowned for featuring one of the most memorable cliffhangers of its time in television history, famously known as Who Shot J.R.? The character J.R. Ewing emerged as the breakout star of the show, with his cunning and manipulative business tactics becoming a defining feature of the series. Dallas also spawned a spin-off show titled Knott's Landing in 1979, which enjoyed a successful run of 14 seasons. Additionally, a revival of the Dallas series was launched in 2012 and lasted for three seasons. Do you recall the original Dallas cast? Let's reminisce. Ken Kercheval as Cliff Barnes. Every compelling soap opera thrives on a captivating adversary, and that's precisely where Cliff Barnes stepped into the picture for Dallas. Portrayed by Ken Kercheval, Barnes devoted his life to outmaneuvering the deceitful J.R. Ewing. Occasionally, he would achieve his goals, but more often than not, J.R. would emerge triumphant. Similar to Larry Hagman, who portrayed J.R., Kercheval reprised his role as Cliff in Dallas TV movies and the series Reboot. Additionally, he made appearances in various television shows following the conclusion of the series. Kercheval's pace significantly decelerated after Dallas wrapped up. In fact, most of his notable roles occurred before the show commenced or while it was still airing. However, he frequently secured guest spots on a variety of shows. You might have glimpsed Kercheval in productions such as Walker, Texas Ranger, ER, Murder, She Wrote, Crossing Jordan, or Diagnosis Murder. Notably, Kercheval starred in the TV movie I Still Dream of Jeannie, an intriguing connection to Dallas, considering Larry Hagman's involvement in the original series. Ken Kershaval passed away in 2019 at the age of 83. His final appearance on screen is credited to the 2020 film Surviving in L.A. Patrick Duffy as Bobby Ewing Bobby Ewing stood out as a contrasting figure in Dallas. Unlike his brother J.R., Bobby didn't possess the same ruthless demeanor. However, in the ruthless realm of oil magnates depicted in the show, this often made him a target. He also found himself at the center of one of the most iconic moments in the show's history, the infamous shower scene that revealed the entire previous season in which Bobby died had all been a dream. Patrick Duffy portrayed Bobby, enjoying considerable success beyond Dallas. He revisited the character in various spin-offs, TV movies, and the 2012 Dallas revival. Duffy also had prolonged stints on other TV series, notably the 1990s sitcom Step by Step, and intermittently appeared on the enduring daytime drama The Bold and the Beautiful. His experience in soap operas and sitcoms proved beneficial, landing him guest roles on shows like NCIS and All Rise. Additionally, he engaged in projects such as starring in made-for-TV Christmas movies and narrating ESPN's documentary series 30 for 30 episode titled Pony Excess. Duffy tied the knot with Carlin Rosser, a professional ballerina older than him by 13 years in 1974. Rosser danced with the First Chamber Dance Company of New York and is related to former Major League Baseball pitcher Barry Zito. The couple resided near Eagle Point, Oregon, with their sons Padraic, B. 1974, and Connor, born C. 1980. Unfortunately, Duffy's wife, Carlin Rosser, passed away in 2017. In 2020, he began a romantic relationship with actress Linda Pearl. Barbara Bel Geddes as Miss Ellie Ewing. Miss Ellie Ewing's journey in Dallas had its share of real-life twists. Esteemed stage performer Barbara Bel Geddes took on the role of the Ewing family's matriarch seamlessly until the 1983 season. However, between seasons, Geddes underwent a quadruple bypass surgery, leading to her temporary absence until late in the subsequent season. To accommodate Geddes' health situation, 
Ellie was temporarily portrayed by another actress, with Donna Reed assuming the role from 1984 to 1985. Upon Geddes's recovery, she resumed her portrayal of Ellie until the series concluded in 1991. Before her tenure on Dallas, Geddes had made a name for herself in theater circles, earning Tony Award nominations for her performances in Cat on a Hot Tin Roof as Maggie and the lead role in Mary, Mary. She also garnered acclaim for her portrayal of Ginevra in Deep Are the Roots. Beyond her stage career, Geddes left her mark in Hollywood, notably through collaborations with Alfred Hitchcock, including appearances in several episodes of Alfred Hitchcock Presents and a prominent role in Vertigo. Following her retirement from acting post-Dallas, Geddes passed away in 2005 at the age of 82. Notably, she contributed to Dallas's only major award win, securing a Golden Globe for Best Actress in 1982, Steve Canale as Ray Krebs. The unacknowledged Ewing, Ray Krebs, remained in the shadows on Dallas compared to other family members. Actor Steve Canale portrayed the role adeptly, demonstrating willingness to reprise the character in the follow-up series and several television movies based on the original show. Canali himself never achieved the same level of fame as some of his fellow cast members. However, chances are you've encountered him elsewhere, particularly if you enjoy classic television. He's made guest appearances on numerous popular shows, including Starsky and Hutch, Charlie's Angels, The Love Boat, Fantasy Island, and Walker, Texas Ranger. Additionally, He's had recurring roles on various series, such as All My Children and Okavango, The Wild Frontier. Canali's most recent acting involvement was in the 2012 Dallas Revival series, suggesting he may have retired from acting since then. He resides in California with his spouse and pursues interests as a watercolor artist and philanthropist, Susan Howard as Donna Culver Krebs. Donna Culver Krebs faced challenges on Dallas that were quite difficult. One of her major storylines centered around her pregnancy and subsequent loss, which strained her relationship with Ray. However, this occurred during the season following Bobby's supposed death, when Patrick Duffy had initially decided to depart from the show. Later, he changed his mind and returned, revealing Donna's ordeal to have been part of the dream season. Sadly, the character never fully recovered, and actress Susan Howard departed from the series shortly thereafter. Before joining the cast of Dallas, Howard enjoyed success with various guest appearances on television shows such as Star Trek, Columbo, I Dream of Jeannie, Mission, Impossible, and Bonanza. Additionally, she had a leading role on the series Petrocelli. However, once she left Dallas, her acting career took a back seat, and she only made sporadic appearances in other roles. Instead, Howard shifted her focus towards politics. She held administrative positions with organizations like the NRA and the Texas Parks and Wildlife Commission, and has been actively involved with the Texas Republican Party. Howard Keel as Clayton Farlow. Though he wasn't initially part of the cast when Dallas first premiered, it didn't take long for experienced actor Howard Keel to capture the hearts of viewers as Clayton Farlow. Farlow's character was intriguing, as he grappled with his connection to the Ewing family while being surrounded by all the extravagance and drama. Keel proved to be an ideal fit for the role, given his extensive career prior to joining the series, which included roles in musicals and westerns. Before making his mark in Hollywood, Keel was already a well-known figure on Broadway. He showcased his talent in productions such as Oklahoma, where he portrayed the protagonist Curly for 18 months before transitioning to a contract with MGM. His breakthrough role in Hollywood came as Frank Butler in Annie Get Your Gun, and he went on to star in other musicals like Showboat, Kiss Me Kate, and Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. Following the conclusion of Dallas, Keel made only sporadic appearances in guest roles on various television shows, including appearances in episodes of Murder, She Wrote, and Walker, Texas Ranger. 
Keel passed away in 2004 at the age of 85, with his final on-screen appearance being in the 2002 film My Father's House. Victoria Principal as Pamela Barnes Ewing One of the more captivating roles in Dallas, Pam Ewing always felt like an outsider. While she married Bobby to become part of the Ewing clan, her roots were in the Barnes family. This dynamic added significant drama, particularly in the early seasons, as Pam grappled with being viewed as a spy and an interloper. Actress Victoria Principal delivered exceptional performances in the role, earning numerous prestigious award nominations for her portrayal. Principal has achieved success across various domains, including her acting career. Beyond Dallas, she has made notable guest appearances on a range of shows, such as Home Improvement, Chicago Hope, Just Shoot Me, The Practice, and even Family Guy. Additionally, she starred in Titans, a series from the early 2000s that evidently drew inspiration from Dallas. However, the series only lasted for 14 episodes, marking Principal's final on-screen credits. Beyond television, Principal ventured into entrepreneurship with the successful establishment of Principal's Secret Skincare, from which she departed in 2019. Furthermore, she is an accomplished author, has founded a production company, and actively supports various philanthropic causes. Linda Gray as Sue Ellen Ewing, JR's spouse. Sue Ellen was initially intended as a minor role, as the show was originally planned as a five-episode miniseries. However, when Dallas was picked up as a full series, Sue Ellen's prominence in the show significantly increased. Fortunately, the role was entrusted to the talented actress Linda Gray. Like many of the Dallas stars, Gray reprised her role in various spin-offs and offshoots, while also continuing to pursue acting across diverse roles. Dallas provided Gray with valuable experience in the soap opera genre, which she has since utilized in numerous noteworthy television appearances. She had a brief stint on Melrose Place as Hillary Michaels, a character who operated a modeling agency. This role later led to a spin-off series titled Models, Inc., in which Gray starred. Additionally, she has appeared on The Bold and the Beautiful, Hilton Head Island, and Hollyoaks. While Gray's presence in major motion pictures is limited, she has amassed some experience in film. Recent projects include supporting roles in Intuitions and Grand Daddy Day Care. Charlene Tilton as Lucy Ewing Cooper. Lucy Ewing experienced a series of ups and downs on Dallas. She was initially part of the show from the start, but was removed after the 1985 season. Later, she made a comeback, only to exit again in 1990. Despite her departures, her character remained relevant through occasional mentions and sporadic appearances in the 2012 revival series. Throughout these transitions, the role of Lucy was consistently portrayed by actress Charlene Tilton. Tilton, known for her petite stature, has enjoyed success not only in acting, but also in music. Prior to her Dallas role, she had minor appearances on Eight is Enough and Happy Days, and her film debut was in 1978's Freaky Friday, alongside Jodie Foster. Following that, she starred in various comedic films like Silence of the Hams, Superhero Movie, and Paranormal Calamity. Additionally, she has taken on numerous smaller roles in both film and television. In the music realm, Tilton gained recognition for her European dance hit titled C'est la Vie. Her most recent acting endeavor was a cameo appearance in the 2019 film Starting Up Love, indicating her continued involvement in the industry. Omri Katz as John Ross Ewing. J.R.'s offspring with Sue Ellen, John Ross Ewing III, was portrayed by popular young actor Omri Katz in the original Dallas series. Although John Ross remains a key figure in the 2012 revival series, Katz's portrayal was replaced. Nonetheless, Katz achieved considerable success during his prime years, landing roles that evoke nostalgia in 90s-era youngsters. Following the conclusion of Dallas, Katz starred in the television series Erie, Indiana, where he portrayed Marshall Teller. However, 
he is most notably remembered for his role as Max, the tie-dye adorned protagonist in the 1993 film Hocus Pocus. Recently, he made guest appearances on several well-known TV shows, including Freaks and Geeks and General Hospital. Katz's most recent acting credit was in 2018, when he revisited the character of Marshall Teller for an episode of Childhood Thoughts. This marked his return to acting after a 16-year hiatus. Although Katz is officially retired from acting, rumors of a Hocus Pocus revival may entice him to make a comeback. Priscilla Presley as Jenna Wade Jenna Wade was Bobby Ewing's initial romantic interest, and she is best remembered as portrayed by Priscilla Presley. However, Presley was the third actress to take on the role. Jenna made her debut in a single episode, initially portrayed by Morgan Fairchild. Francine Tacker briefly assumed the role for a few episodes before Presley took over as a regular character in 1983. Presley has been involved in several well-known relationships over the years, including marriage to Elvis Presley, with whom she shares daughter Lisa Marie, born in 1968. She also had a brief relationship with Robert Kardashian in the 1970s. Beyond her role in Dallas, Presley has found success in acting, starring alongside Leslie Nielsen in the Naked Gun film series and making guest appearances on various television shows. While Presley has explored different endeavors throughout her career, she maintains ties to the entertainment industry. She is reportedly working on developing a cartoon series titled Agent King for Netflix, and is also associated with the fantasy series Almithea, Rise of Wingtar, Deborah Renard as Sly, Sly Lovegren, J.R.'s loyal secretary may have been a peripheral character in the world of Dallas, but she made her mark by appearing in nearly 200 episodes of the series. Deborah Renard's debut performance in the show served as a launch pad for her subsequent success in Hollywood. Taking a hiatus from acting for about 10 years in the early 2000s, she eventually returned to the film and television industry in 2015. As Dallas approached its conclusion, Renard secured notable roles in several major films. She starred alongside Jean-Claude Van Damme in Lionheart, 1990, and also made an appearance in Kazam. Her television credits include recurring roles on Days of Our Lives, along with guest appearances on Silk Stockings, Family Law, Due South, and Kung Fu. The legend continues. Transitioning away from film and television, Renard redirected her focus towards stage acting, but in recent years, she has made a resurgence on screen. Her credits include an uncredited role in the 2015 miniseries Show Me a Hero, as well as a supporting role in the 2020 Christmas film Deck the Heart. Sherry J. Wilson as April Stevens Jack's former spouse, April Stevens Ewing, portrayed by Sherry J. Wilson, made her debut in seasons 10 and 11 before ascending to a principal role in season 12. While on assignment in Denver for a fashion shoot, Wilson was mistaken for a model by one of the photographers who then introduced her to a modeling agent in New York. Impressed, the agent promptly signed her, leading Wilson to relocate to Manhattan. Within a span of 18 months, she landed contracts for over 30 commercial campaigns with brands like Clairol, Seabreeze, Carry Lotion, and Maybelline. Her print advertisements graced the pages of renowned magazines such as Mademoiselle, Glamour, and Red Book. Wilson exchanged vows with Vince Morella in 2018 and presently calls Dallas, Texas home. She is the proud mother of two sons from her previous marriage to Paul DiRabio, 1991-2004. Actively engaged in philanthropy, Wilson supports organizations including the National Multiple Sclerosis Society, Trail of Tears Remembrance Motorcycle Ride, Wings for Life, dedicated to spinal cord injury healing, and White Bridal Humane Society, a nonprofit equine therapy organization aiding children with developmental disabilities in Texas. Additionally, Wilson has established her own line of skin care products for beauty therapy, Larry Hagman as J.R. Ewing. In the initial seasons of Dallas, 
The storyline primarily revolved around the feud between the Ewing and Barnes clans. However, writers soon recognized that viewers held the greatest fascination for the character of J.R. Ewing, portrayed by Larry Hagman. He maintained a remarkable streak, appearing in every single episode of the series, totaling an impressive 356 episodes. Moreover, Hagman continued to embody the iconic character in spin-offs and related series throughout the years. Before his tenure on Dallas, Hagman gained prominence through his role in I Dream of Genie. Despite the conclusion of Dallas, his career trajectory didn't quite reach its former pinnacle. While he continued to grace screens with sporadic television appearances, he also ventured into the realm of cinema, featuring in notable films such as Superman 1978, Nixon 1995, and Primary Colors 1998. Concurrently, he revisited the character of J.R. in various TV movies, the spin-off Knott's Landing, and the 2012 Dallas Revival. Additionally, as he aged, Hagman diversified his acting portfolio, securing recurring roles in series like Desperate Housewives and Nip Tuck. Sadly, Hagman succumbed to complications from leukemia in 2012 at the age of 81. What an incredible series. And let's not forget about the iconic theme song, one of the best in television history. The resolution of the dramatic cliffhanger, dubbed Who Done It? in the fourth season, still holds the record as the second highest-rated primetime telecast ever. Now, we're curious. Who was your favorite character in Dallas? And did you also tune in to the immensely popular spin-off, Knott's Landing? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section below. We're eager to hear from you.